Okay, so in chapter 7, it is about coordinates. So when we talk about coordinates, of course, you should know two coordinates. The first one, coordinate of X and coordinate of Y. Before you learn coordinate of X and coordinate of Y, you should know what is horizontal distance and what is vertical distance. When we talk about horizontal distance, macam mana bentuk horizontal? Menegak ataupun me mendata? Mencacang ataupun mengufuk? Okay, this is we call as This is horizontal distance But make sure it is straight line Okay, this is we call as horizontal distance Vertical distance? Okay, mencacang This is vertical distance Okay, understand? So in this chapter you will learn How to find the distance be Distance between two point In the Cartesian coordinate system Okay, kalau tengok sini kita akan tengok lepas ni apa yang dimaksudkan dengan Cartesian coordinate system. Sistem coordinate Cartes. Maksud sistem coordinate Cartes tu dia dalam bentuk grid ni lah. Grid ni dia ada kotak-kotak kecil tu eh. So, we will see here what is horizontal distance and what is vertical distance. For example, if I use this this question, okay, if, if I use this example, ni kan awak tak pun nampak dia punya kotak-kotak kecil tu. Kan tak pun nampak kan? Okay, let's say right now Okay, dia dah bagi kat bahasa dia ada satu kotak-kotak kecil tu eh Find the horizontal distance between Atlanta and Phoenix So, Atlanta and Phoenix So, what is the horizontal distance? Okay, nampak ni Atlanta And then Phoenix So, how to know the horizontal distance? You have two options Sama ada awak kira kotak-kotak kecil tu Ataupun Awak tengok kat sini Okay, apa kena kat situ? 5 Correct tak 5? Yes And this one Phoenix? Negative 8 So, what is the distance from Atlanta to Phoenix? Here we have 5 And another one here? 8 Okay, tak kisah Negative tu tak ambil tak ambil kisah Sebab apa? Negative tu merujuk kepada quadrant Quadrant means sukuan This one, okay, this part we call as first quadrant. This one, second quadrant. Third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Boleh nampak? So, first quadrant, in first quadrant, coordinate for X, positive and also coordinate for Y, positive. But in the second quadrant, okay, this side, coordinate for X, negative but coordinate for Y, positive. In the third quadrant, in this side Coordinate for Y Negative And also coordinate for X Negative In the fourth quadrant Coordinate for X Positive Coordinate for Y Negative Okay, tu kita sebut sebagai quadrant So, nilai negatif tu merujuk pada apa negatif tadi ni? Sebabnya dia berada pada suku yang ke Ketiga Suku yang ketiga dia akan jadi nilai dia ni eh? Negative. So, turn back to this question. Okay, balik pada soalan ni. What is the horizontal distance between Atlanta and Phoenix? Berapakah jarak mengufuk di antara Atlanta dengan Phoenix? Berapa ni? Semua sekali. 8 plus? 8 plus 5. So, what is the value? 13. 13. Okay, horizontal distance equal to 13. What is the horizontal distance between Boston and Seattle? Okay, jangan cikgu padam tu yang lama ni Distance between Boston and Seattle Where is Seattle? Okay, now So, macam mana nak cari horizontal distance dia? Kita bila sebut horizontal distance ni Jarak, this one record as horizontal distance Not this one Okay So, what is the horizontal distance? So, you see here At the Seattle here, what is the value? Negative Okay, negative 9. So, 9. And then, this side? 7. Okay, 7. This side, 7. So, what is the horizontal distance? 9. 9 plus another 7? 6. So, 6? 16. So, that is horizontal distance. 16. You faham? Okay, if I ask you, 
Okay, let's say if I ask you, what is the vertical distance between Boston and Seattle? Macam mana nak cari vertical distance? Straight. Ah, kira yang straight ni saja. Ada berapa sini? Sini 8, here 2. So, 8 minus 2? 6. Okay, 6. So, that is vertical distance and horizontal distance. Ni faham? Tak faham kita tengok lagi contoh. Vertical distance between Atlanta and... Denver Atlanta So Atlanta berapa ni? 37 Vertical distance kan? Atlanta and Tengok dulu Atlanta and apa tu? Denver Okay Atlanta and Denver So what, what, how many unit here? Ha, kira berapa kotak ada? You see here berapa? 7 kan? 7 2 and 3 And this one? 3 So what is the vertical distance? 7 3 plus 7? 10 10 Okay 10 Okay next Vertical distance between Boston and Dallas 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 or Dallas? Vertical distance between Boston and Dallas Hmm? Boston. Mana Boston? Okay, Boston and Dallas. So here 8. Here 4. Negative 4. So 8 plus 4? 12. So vertical distance dia akan jadi 12. Okay, faham? Okay, now we see the next. Soalan ni simple. Just mana. Okay, kita tengok yang pertama. House to futsal field. House to futsal field. Cara dia adalah yang pertama awak buat dulu satu segi tiga. Okay, you draw a triangle Okay, like this Okay, next, what should you do? When you want to find the horizontal distance You just calculate how many box we have here Kira berapa kotak ada kat situ? Four Dalam buku ada lah kan, ni tak nampak Okay, here Vertical distance? Also? Four. Four. So that is the answer? Eight. Okay, next. Soalan next ni kotak dia seterusnya tanya apa? Total distance. So, four plus four? Eight. Eight. Okay, next. Second example. Apa lagi? Contoh yang soalan yang kedua. Moss to shop. Okay, moss to shop. Okay, again. Draw the, the triangle. Okay, now. What is the horizontal distance? Horizontal 2 Vertical distance 6 6 Okay, vertical distance 6 Got the answer? Okay, next Shop to moss Shop to moss Sorry, school to moss Okay, so you draw this big triangle So, what is the vertical distance? Oh, sorry, horizontal distance? A. 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 Vertical distance? A. Also A. So, the total distance? 16. Okay, 16. Okay, next. School to shop. Okay, school to shop. Banyak dah kan lain, tak apalah. Okay, school to shop. Horizontal distance? 10 Vertical descent 2 2 Total descent 12 12 Understand? Yeah